In our morning round, scientists say they found human DNA from a fossil that's 400,000 years old. Until now, the oldest known DNA went back a mere 100,000 years old. But this morning, the breakthrough is only leading to new questions about who we are and how we evolved. CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City College of New York. Good morning. Morning. So just tell us about this. Recovering human DNA that's 400,000 years old has shattered all records. It's a game changer. Scientists are going ape over this result <laughs> because it forces us to revise all the textbooks. It throws a monkey wrench in the standard textbook. The textbooks say that during the last ice age, we coexisted with the Neanderthals. It was just them and us, period, end of story. Now we realize that there were other subspecies of humans that walked the earth simultaneous with us. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. You say it also tells us that there was interspecies mingling. What's that? Mating between humans, Neanderthals, and the Denisovans, and maybe even a fourth variety of humans. We didn't think, think they were hanging out together? <laughs> well, we didn't know that we were flirting they were with each out, other. they were hanging out, but they weren't mating. <laughs> Think of Middle Earth and Lord of the Rings. Okay. You have humans, the orcs, the elves, the dwarves. There's a menagerie of different kinds of humans. That's the way it might have been 400,000 years ago. It's like finding out at Thanksgiving time that you have relatives that you didn't know before. Now we realize it, it wasn't just the Neanderthals and us. There were other species of humans that walked the surface so, of the Earth. So when scientists go ape, what do they do? Well, they tried to get ancient DNA to try to recover what it was like so many hundred thousand years ago. Yeah. And like I said, this was a monkey wrench in the standard textbook. All high school textbooks are going to have to be rewritten to uh, so, revise well, our right. origins. It's really cool, but why does it, what does it matter today? Why does it matter today? How does it change things? Well, first of all, all of us apparently, or m many of us, have a little bit of Neanderthal DNA in our genome, perhaps a <laughs> few percent. I've, I've known that about a couple of men I know. <laughs> I can tell you that. Well, it's true. You know, Anybody at this say, table? A few percent. <laughs> <laughs> That's where that behavior came from. <laughs> But, I mean, this is really serious. You're saying it can change textbooks. I mean, this gives us new understanding about evolution. That's the right. The crucial That's right. reason we're here. Right. We used to think that we humans were the only line, the yeah. only lineage yeah. that went back hundreds of thousands of years. But think of a branch. Now we realize that there are other leaves. There are other branches, other leaves on the tree of life. And the tree of life becomes much more interesting and fascinating than before. I mean, what other human-like creatures walk the surface of the earth? We're going to push this back more than just 400,000 years. We're going to eventually go back perhaps a million years into the past. Whoa. I'm excited. I am, I'm too. This is deep. Yes, it is. This is very deep. I'm good. <laughs> this just really is. I mean, it's yeah. serious stuff. It challenges who we are exactly. and, and where we come from. Thank exactly. You. Questions we've been asking about. <laughs> <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> For a long time. Yes. It's Thank a, you, Professor.